Welcome back to us in Newsroom. Now let's hear out Mr. Paul Gamble talking about what the business sector and the businessmen expect from the new government, which is seemingly to be the poor Thai party. So, Paul Campbell, mm -hmm. what do you think of the new economic team of Prime Minister, would-be Prime Minister, Ying Lak? Well, I think, you know, we have yeah. to wait for the results to be confirmed. Mm -hmm. and yeah. We have to start to see what policies they project. During mm -hmm. the campaign, there haven't been any particularly um, radical policy departures, mm -hmm. and I think that's probably right. There's been a, a lot of um, similarity between yeah. everything that's been published as, as policy mm -hmm. projections by mm -hmm. just about all the parties, I think. And, and you know, I, I, I think that's absolutely right. I think Thailand's economic policy has been very stable for the mm -hmm. last couple of years. I don't mm -hmm. think we want anything that's going to be a major departure from that on a economic level. I don't think we want to see huge amounts of more stimulus or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I think the um, the levels of subsidies have been exactly right. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, from an economic point of view, we're big believers that you, they did need to uh, to subsidize a lot of the commodities that were subsidized mm -hmm. to try and keep prices low to prevent inflation getting structural. So we think that uh, the economic policy has been right and we hope that a lot of the main thrust uh -huh. of the macroeconomic policy continues. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't see any reason why it shouldn't. And as I say, certainly from everything we've read, the most of the parties were actually talking about a, um, a fairly consistent approach and again markets like consistency they like they like uh, you know to know what's going to happen they don't like too many surprises mm -hmm. so in this scenario I think dr. Olan Chai Pawat uh, which is the head of the per Thai economic mm -hmm. team could be deputy prime minister for economic affairs and also a possible candidate for finance minister mm -hmm. any different from Hun Kon Jati Kavanit uh, the incumbent finance well, minister he's i mean he's got big shoes to fill both yes. you know literally and metaphorically mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but um <clears throat> I, I say i think that there's a a clear sort of policy mm -hmm. um direction that's in place uh, the one thing that that we don't really want to see is uh, too much stimulus mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. maybe too much um uh, obligation to, to get involved in populist policies mm -hmm. that, are, that are maybe inappropriate at mm -hmm. this stage mm -hmm. of the economic cycle. Um, you know, I think we have to be aware that the, the Western world is in a huge amount of trouble right now. Yeah. Uh, Thailand needs to be in a situation where it's not doing anything that's going to create bubbles, it's not going to create mm -hmm. too much debt, and so we do need a fairly steady hand at, at the tiller, but I, I don't see any reason or anything I've read to suggest that Dr. Mm -hmm. Olan won't continue with the kind of policies we've had. Now. I yeah. very much hope he does. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Nanda, you mentioned about the minimum wage and the need to also increase the productivity if the new government go ahead with a wage high. What else that you would comment on the mm -hmm. per Thai party government? Well, basically, it's important that, mm -hmm. uh, as uh, uh, Paul mentioned, it that uh, populist policies should not uh, mm -hmm. be the leading factor. Mm -hmm. uh, what we want to see is continuity. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to see a big change of tech in the economic policies. Mm -hmm. But overall, what we have seen in the past couple of years, as also Paul very clearly mentioned it, mm -hmm. uh, it's not the case that you have big changes. Mm -hmm. And overall, I think we will see continuity, and that's very important. Mm -hmm. Another important thing is, of course, that the ministries will be filled in with very capable people, mm -hmm. uh, that it's not a favoritism that people get the job, but that mm -hmm. they get the job who really can do the mm -hmm. proper work. Competence competent mm -hmm. who can move actually then the economy or the whole country forward. Mm. And you also mentioned about the ICT that Thailand have to move forward uh, in competition with other countries. We still have forcing doing 3G, right? <laughs> well, countries. we have to make it from the business plan to reality. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. Well, thank you so much for joining our program tonight, both thank of you, you, Paul Gambles and Nando. Thank you very much for inviting us. <laughs> Now let's hear from Ron Corbett, the Australian journalist who have expressed his view on this political change. We have a, a guest in line. Is uh, Mr. Ron Corbett from Australia Association Press. Welcome, Ron. Yes, hello. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good, good, man, yes. Okay, from the international perspective, how do you view the Thai election, uh, the, the poor Thai and the Democrat uh, fight this time? Oh, I, I think... Uh, Today, the uh, the victory by the uh, the Pua Thai Party has uh, has come on the back of uh, a very large uh, voter turnout, which I, I think will give it uh, certainly some substance. Uh, at the same time, the uh, the Democrat Party uh, did as well as they were forecasting in in Bangkok and and in the South. 
Uh, but uh, I, I think it's the uh, I think it was the voter turnout uh, and uh, a belief in uh, in people that uh, perhaps they they certainly want to move forward. Um, and it'll be up to the Pua Thai Party to uh, to prove themselves uh, to prove themselves in government. Do you smell any um, unrest from here on? I'm sorry. Do you do, do you smell anything suspicious, or would there be any coup, any unrest any from this for, point on? Yeah. Um, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't hear you very well, but I... Okay. Uh, do you expect um, that we might have unrest or any unforeseen oh, un incidents, I, such I, as a coup in the near future? No, I, um, uh, I think at the moment uh, I, the, uh, the concession uh, given the speech by, uh, by Mr. Pissett uh, tonight uh, is conceding, uh, conceding his uh, defeat. Uh, and uh, I think uh, people will want to give uh, uh, Kun Ying Luck uh, a chance, as she's uh, as she sought, uh, for uh, uh, to to be able to govern. Uh, there's certainly some time to go to go forward before, as they form a government, they have to put a new budget in place and uh, get positions underway. So it it could be uh, it could be some several months. Uh, we'll probably see a, a period now of, uh, of uh, say, relatively political, relatively uh, political calm, um, um, as uh, as the government is uh, the, as the government forms. And I, uh, I think most people would like to see the government given an opportunity after the, uh, un, you know, the turbulence, the political turbulence of the last few years. Um, voters uh, today. Uh, in their large turnout, uh, want, had, have made their uh, have made their voice known, and uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, I think people will be uh, will be satisfied to get, to go forward at least for the time being, uh, and hopefully it'll all work out. Well, in the long run, do you think the formation of the government will be smooth? Is there a, a place for amnesty for Prime Minister Thaksin to come back? I. Uh, my my feeling is probably the uh, the the uh, the Thai government will be uh, taking things slowly. Um, uh, I uh, I have spoken to uh, to some people from uh, from the party over the last uh, few weeks. Uh, the the sense is that they will probably take things uh, step by step. Um, I can't be absolutely guaranteed that that will be. Uh, that will be uh, that will be the that will be the case, but uh, uh, I think there is uh, some time to go yet. Uh, I don't think they'll want to rush things uh, mm -hmm. too quickly. What do you think will be the impact on the image of Thailand from now on with the Pur Thai Party as the new government? Um, I, I, as I say, I think the key today was a very large voter turnout. Uh, it will be. Uh, uh, it will be interesting to hear what uh, the uh, election uh, monitors uh, say on the conduct of the, the election. Today it went uh, very peace, uh, appeared to go very peacefully uh, and uh, well, uh, well run. Uh, there was good security. I, I think from an international image, I think people will see this as, uh, as a, a reasonably uh, open uh, election. And, uh, uh, and and see it in a, in a positive light. And uh, I think probably from the international community, they'll feel that, uh, that Thailand is moving forward uh, in its, uh, in its uh, democracy and, uh, and, and democratic progress, which is, uh, which is a good thing. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ron, for sharing with us. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now it's uh, Cambodian press turn to address the new government and, of course, in particularly about the Cambodian-Thai conflict.